back. Hey, so today I'm gonna be making some chamorro empanada. And there's actually a lot of ingredients, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the ingredient introduction. All the ingredients you make is down below in the description. I'll make the words pop up on the screen while I'm adding everything. So yeah, let's just get to it. I will go ahead and start off with making the filling. Um, I already chopped up the onions and garlic and the chicken. I'm just gonna cook the onions and garlic at like a low temperature, low, medium, low, um, because we want it to get nice and soft. And then once it gets all soft, we're just gonna add in our chicken, cook it up, add our sea ingredients. Okay, our filling is all done and now we're just gonna let it cool down to room temperature. And while it's cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and make the crust. Okay, our dough is looking pretty good already. It's not too wet, not too dry. And of course, if your dough is a little too wet, just keep adding a little more masa at a time until it gets to the right consistency. And then if it's too dry, you know, keep adding a little chicken broth at a time. And for me, like, compared to like Play-Doh, like when you first open the Play-Doh, it's nice and soft. So like that, you know, kind of, yeah, our dough is pretty much good to go. Still waiting for the filling to cool down. And once it's cooled down, we'll go ahead and we'll form the empanadas. I got a kitchen scale. So I'm gonna make each ball about 80 grams. It seems about right to me for the size. Um, if you don't have a kitchen scale, that's fine. You know, just make the dough about the size of a golf ball. Take your dough and then just roll it into a ball. Look at that, Six, uh, 69. Let's get it up to 80. There we go, it's 80 grams, so I'm just Roll the rest of the pieces into a ball again. The best, the best you can roll it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it between two pieces of wax paper. You can use parchment paper too on the tortilla press. And then, um, yeah, I will just show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay my parchment paper on my tortilla press. Put the ball of dough about right in the middle. I'm just gonna close the top. And we're gonna press down with this side. I'm gonna press it down until I can't press no more. Spread out. There we go. Yeah, I want it spread out. Oh, let's fix that part a little bit. Push it in. It's about a good size. A heaping teaspoon of the filling, like down in the middle. To seal it, I'm actually just gonna roll it over with the parchment paper still. I'm gonna hold the dough in, or hold the filling in, I'm sorry. Kind of line it up. I mean, it's not the best looking one, but you know, it'll look a lot better after we're done frying it. Go ahead and use up the rest of the dough to make more of these. I mean, all the empanadas took me about close to an hour and a half. Um, I was pretty slow at shaping them, but I made 19. I don't know why I came out to 19. I need to work on my measurements. But yeah, let's go fry some up. All right, the empanadas are done cooking there. You can hear that, they're nice and crunchy. 
have a nice dark orange color. So we're gonna cool down and then we'll just give it a taste test. So here it is, we finished frying it. And see, it looks, looks pretty good. Turned out pretty good. This one didn't open up. Man. You hear that? Have a nice crisp when you bite into it. Let's uh, open it up. Let's take a bite. Nice crunch when I bit into it. Put the right amount of filling into this. Open it up so you guys can. There we go. Can you see the inside? Yeah, can you see that? Nice crust to filling ratio. Size nice and crispy. It's a nice color. Yeah, it tastes real good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all again next time.